Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. At number 20 is a device for placing the ties on a railroad. Railroad ties are those struts that lay perpendicular to the rail, which support the entire railroad itself. In order to actually plant these into the ground, a specialized tool which can cut into the rock, remove the old tie, and finally place the new one is needed. Our machine at 19 comes from RP System, a road printer. A simple yet effective design that allows workers to create brick layout designs for roads that are automatically laid. It's less strain for the builders and all in all more precise. Next up at 18 we have the Vermeer Terrain Leveler. This heavy-duty machine cuts into the earth from a modified tractor and removes the upper layer of soil, flattening out the terrain. A jagged digging head is used to do so. At 17, we have the Vermeer Compost Turner. As composting occurs, it is best to turn the compost in order to expose new dirt to the air, to hasten the process. This machine does just that with a spinning set of tilling arms. For number 16 on our list, we have a soil cutter being used at a construction site. Using dual opposed spinning heads, the muddy soil is ground up and moved to the surface, preparing a hole for piping, foundations, or other structures. After the hole is dug, they'll lower an I-beam to support the final structure. Number 15 on our list is the Chemrock Cutter Wheel, shown in a number of different applications. This versatile tool can be used for laying the groundwork for a number of different operations, from underground pipelines to repairing roadways. The tool rapidly cuts through a wide variety of materials quickly and effectively. At 14, we have the Zog Robla 500 Snowblower. This vehicle comes with a large and powerful snowblower at the front for making quick work of cutting snow. This is especially useful at places such as snow resorts, where small paths need to be cleared of snow for pedestrian travel. Up next at 13, we have the Liber Reach Stacker. This machine quickly handles the transport and handling of shipping containers at a shipyard. It's able to easily reach the tops of stacks of shipping containers and even behind the containers directly in front of it, making the removal of these containers fast and simple. It can take these containers and offload them onto truck trailers or train beds for long distance transport.
At number 12, the Vimpo Chip Spreader. This machine lays gravel on freshly placed tar for roads. It's fed this gravel from the bed of a truck and distributed at the front through a specialized feeding system. Though not a practice used by every country, this technique is a part of road repair in some places. For our 11th machine, we have the Tezmec Bucket Wheel Digging Machine. The name truly fits the product, with what is a wheel of bucket-like scoops that cut the soil and dispense it out the side. This is effective at rapid and precise trench creation in soft to moderately hard soils, and comes in a variety of different forms. At number 10, we have the Cabelco's Demolition Device. This machine uses an advanced hydraulic claw that cuts through steel and concrete during the demolition of a building. This pair of pinchers can tear apart a building piece by piece, making the removal of construction a relative breeze compared to disassembly by hand. Just make sure not to get your arm stuck in there. From Epiroc, our ninth machine is the Drum Cutter. This spinning set of teeth makes quick work of hard clay, rock, and concrete which is turned to easy to remove debris. It's useful in applications from the preparation of lands for projects to demolition, making it useful at a multitude of sites. At 8th place on our list is the Diamond Mower Stump Grinder. When a tree is cut down or is broken down from harsh weather or otherwise having rotten and fallen, a stump of course remains. Stumps not only take away from the aesthetics of a space but can get in the way of buildings and even planting new trees. Thus, a stump remover like this one can be employed. It uses a spinning saw with specialized teeth in a similar way to some of the other machines that we've seen on this list, cutting away at the material to completely remove the offender. The seventh machine for this list is the Fent Ideal Combine. This combine is the modern approach to large-scale rapid harvesting of a field of hay or wheat. It quickly moves over a field and collects all the grains and dispenses them from a chute out the side. It's quick and clean, leaving nothing behind. Our sixth machine is the Printeth Raptor Mulcher. This device takes plant debris and turns it into a nutrient-rich and easy-to-work-with mulch. It can cut away at parts of stumps and even cut down young trees that get in the way. An excellent tool for clearing out land. At number 5, we have the Colmar Rail Shearing Machine. 
This device uses hydraulic shears to cut railroad tracks into correct lengths. Incredibly powerful clamps use shear cutting force to essentially snap any piece of track in two. At number 4, we have the Ponzi Harvester, collecting wood on a tree farm. This machine is an all-in-one device, working to not only cut down the tree, but shave its branches, cut it into logs, and prepare it in stacks. It's a collection of chainsaws and wheels that makes quick work of a target tree. At number 3, we have the Eagle Mine Dynamic Compaction from the Menard Group. A crude yet effective device, it works to compact loose soil with a crane and weight setup. It drops the weight directly atop of the soil after lifting it dozens of feet into the air. Not to many moving parts except for the large weight compressing the dirt it impacts. At number 2, we have a truly incredible piece of mining machinery, the P&H 4100 Mining Shovel. Here, it can be seen cutting out several tons of rock and dumping them onto an even larger dump truck to be taken off-site and processed. Mining minerals is a heavy-duty process, and at this scale takes humongous pieces of machinery weighing several hundred tons apiece. Finally, at number 1 on our list of the 20 most incredible industrial machines from around the world, the Thyssen Krupp Bucket Wheel Excavator. Take a look at the catwalks on this beast and you get a sense of the scale of this machine. It's 240 meters long, which is nearly 800 feet, and has a capacity of 13,500 tons. This industrial mining tool makes quick work of mineral-rich mounds of dirt and rock, no matter the size, all in a package that readily can be moved across a mining site. This might help give you a sense of scale. That excavator, which is already quite large compared to a person, is dwarfed by the giant. Just look at the cabin of the excavator, where the operator sits, and you can see how that spinning wheel compares to a person. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. 
If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching, and we hope to catch you next time.